What rarely ever works like it should. The dashed line on crackers. Those individually packaged pills with the super stabby metal corners. Bend and peel. Yeah refine right. Bend and peel and the top paper thing tears off. Then go get a refine knife. To open the damn things. They'll know what you're talking about. I've been told this by multiple bosses over the years. Usually in the context of. Boss. Call these guys. And tell them to me. What's the thing I'm having them do? Is there more info on this? In case they need details. Boss. They'll know what you're talking about. Boss. Never. Ever. Ever in the history of they'll know what you're talking about has the other party ever known what I was talking about. Supervisor. Colleague said I had to ask you about the ants. Me. TBF I'm a biologist. So the ant part itself is not weird. But it's funnier. If you don't know that. Yay I heard about ants. They made a movie about them. I hate when bosses have you ask someone else for something. When it would have been easier for them to just ask that person directly. As in. Hey, can you do me a favor and ask, person you don't know, for, something I have to spend time explaining to you, and still, they know more about the context and goal of the question than you do, while you only know what you've been told second hand, I feel like they do it purely as a power move. Checking reddit real quick, I'm good, I've been only been here, since 2pm, of Friday, August 10th 2012 send help. Anything you have to shove back in the original bag, tents, sleeping bags, etc. The army has taught me to shove to sleeping bags, ground sheet, and divvy bag into one valise. It's a whole body affair. Babies, those don't go back up. The you are now unsubscribed from this mailing list message. Thank you for confirming that there is a person reading this ML address. Please allow 4 to 6 weeks for our computer system to update and remove you while we pump you harder. My digestive system really gives new meaning to your username. And no, thank you. Uck. This is why I hate traveling, eating new foods, and going on a new routine means my stomach won't agree with me. The open here. Or push here to open sections of every cardboard food container. Open other side. This is a normal box with delusions about being easy to open. The perforated hole on the side of Kraft Macaroni box has never worked for me. Like it should. It infuriates me every time. One day it's going to work. And that will be the day I go out. And buy lottery tickets. No. That's the day you should have bought lottery tickets. But have just discovered you've wasted your luck on a box of macaroni cheese. I've just given up on opening boxes like that. I just rip them open at the top. Okay good. It's not just me who is physically incapable of opening a KD box as suggested. Push here to crush box. Pull tab to open well I did Steven and now the fine things torn off in me hand in the container still isn't open. The perforation just makes it stronger. The code I write at work. 83rd time is a charm. But why does it work now? Don't know. Don't care. But it does. I'll just remove this print statement and now it crashes. My code doesn't work. I have no idea why. My code works. I have no idea why. 99 little bugs in the code. 99 little bugs. Take it down. Patch it around. 121 little bugs in the code. Airplane internet connection. I fell for that bullsh one time. It was so slow I couldn't use the internet anyway. Like worse than the 90s. Has to be slow. Otherwise you might use Netflix. I find it's fine for texting and Reddit. Yeah I just use it for texting. Heavily text based internet browsing. Reddit and Wikipedia. And Twitter. And it's usually fine. Airplane internet is only set to allow simple things like sending an mail. And text messages. It also allows access to their onboard entertainment. It says all of this in the entertainment card in your seat back pocket. And also in the disclaimer that you didn't read before purchasing the internet access. Almost every flight I hear this complaint. And I agree that it should be changed to allow faster speeds. You could write a complaint to the airline because they won't listen to the flight attendants. When they say our passengers complain about this, it should be fixed. 3. Source. I'm a flight attendant. Hello flight attendant. I'm a wheelchair pusher for a major city's airport. It's like we are co-workers that only see each other for like 10 minutes a week. One of you guys gave me a bunch of free snacks and an apple juice on my first day. That was awesome. I was very thirsty, never did see her again. The fine plastic top on ready meals, 
You pull at the corner tab, and it rips straight off, leaving you with a impenetrable plastic seal around the edges, just too thin to grab with your fingers. After moving to Ireland everything with those plastic seals do that. Printers. Because what's stopping me from printing my black and white document is a lack of yellow ink. Of course, low ink is the lie they use. Low means definitely has some. Low means has much more than the machine is letting on. Years ago, after experiencing this one day, I found out that you could bypass this. Thou shalt not print. While low on yellow thing with a strip of black tape over the printer sensor, I was elated until I realized I had to figure out a way to defeat an object I owned. I had to work around a crippling, stupid flaw that was deliberately designed to confound my use of something I owned, and that's apart from the whole ceases, to continue working after minimal use and ink whose price suggests it is drawn from some mystical well on another planet things. I'm sure there are lots of good, decent people who work in the printer industry, but I'm sure there were lots of good, decent people on board the Death Star too. Buy a cheap black and white laser jet printer. I bought one back in 2012 and just replaced the toner. It was $15. I never find myself actually needing color prints. And if I do I'll just go to Staples. There is a specific reason why your printer does not work when it's low on yellow. Modern printers place small yellow dots on each piece of paper that you print. So small that you can't see them. Only when you know where to look. Those dots can be red and translated into a serial number which can be used to track down an arrow a location in which the printer was sold. And if you use credit card you could maybe even figure out by whom. Especially useful if you want to find a someone who printed a threat, or leaked some valuable information. I know this sounds very much like a conspiracy theory, but it's not. Printer technology is the only one that gets worse and worse with time. PC load letter. What the F does that mean? Always buy laser over inkjet printers, if you just need to print text, F that. Always surreptitiously do your personal printing at work. Law. On paper it's one thing. In practice it's very fluid. Depends on the legal system. In a common law system like the US or Canada, the whole purpose of the system is for the courts to be able to set precedents for laws. This leads to a ton of fluidity of the law, because the decision of a judge on a legal question isn't always logical. In a code law system like China, the law is the law. If you don't follow the rules written down by the gut, your host, it's more efficient, but not very moral, since it leaves almost no wiggle room for legal ambiguities. Merging on the highway. It's a simple zipper pattern people. Wait, so you're telling me I have to increase my speed on a ramp, designed to give me room to increase my speed, so that I can merge with traffic? No, I'd rather break instead, yeah, and worse, they probably think that erratic unexpected braking in situations you should not be braking is somehow safer. I understand the concept of this, but this, and I guess all driving, puts a lot of faith into other drivers. I don't typically have problems merging, but I'll be damned if I don't just give a wheel to Satan when I have to. No, I have to be first and make myself and all traffic stop so I can get 30 seconds ahead. BMW drivers probably more like 0.5 seconds. I think many people don't realize how much faster than other cars you have to be going to save any amount of time. Top Gear determined the Cox have forsaken BMW and moved to Audis. I need to break and insert myself into traffic at 20 miles per hour while everyone is going 65 plus and move over to the fast lane to gas it to 50 miles per hour while everyone is going 65 plus. Prius drivers absolutely. Doctor's appointment timing. God forbid I'm late one minute for the appointment, but I have to sit in a room with everyone coughing around me for an hour extra because he's late. Healthcare administrator here, I will tell you there are a bunch of factors that go into a clinic running smoothly, and 99 times in 100 one of those factors crops up and screws the entire day. It can be something as simple as a patient took longer to examine slash evaluate at the beginning of the day, and then the rest of the day is thrown off. Some doctors still round in hospitals in the morning, and then go to their office for clinic. So if the hospital patients take longer, or if there is an emergency, or if traffic is bad getting back to the office, boom, whole day is off. Patients sometimes say they have one issue to be seen for, and then go through a laundry list of issues, once the doctor is in the room. Oh you came in for a sore throat, cool. 
15 minute appointment. Oh but your right eye feels like someone is sticking a needle in it. You have a barking cough for the last month. Your nose won't stop bleeding. And your hemorrhoids are acting up. Now that 15 minute appointment lasts 45 minutes. I've also experienced the doctor that just doesn't care. And his time is more important than the patients and he will be 30 to 60 minutes late with every patient. My advice. You always take the appointment as early as possible in the day. First appointment at 7.30 am. Take it. You will be far more likely to be seen at your appointment time. And a general sat to everyone. Just show up on time. If you are running late call the office and let them know, so they can move on to the next patients, until you get there. With the on a train. Every printer ever invented printer, paper Jamie, but there's no paper stuck printer, I need magenta. Invading Russia, found Napoleon, could be Hitler. Windows trouble shutter. Trying to think about nothing to sleep, I can relate, clear your mind, clear your mind. Great, now I'm thinking about how I'm supposed to clear my mind. What was that noise? Probably nothing, damn it. 20 years ago there was some Berger commercial where the guy was trying to clear his mind, but kept thinking about Berger deals, and that has kept me from being able to meditate ever since. That's your mistake. You don't want to think about nothing. You want to jumpstart your dreaming. Start imagining yourself in an interesting scenario and let your mind run. Anything containing the sentence easy to open, or easy opening, nope, won't be easy, and I'll probably tear it apart, to get it open. Facts. Facts and frequently asked questions, they're easily answered questions. If people are looking for answers, they're beyond what a fact is going to do for them. And anyone who works in CS that directs customers, to consult the fact when they call, can eat a dick. If you ever get pill spree rolls that come in the cylindrical tube, the tear to open portion cuts the instructions in half, then you always absentmindedly throw the wrapper away, only to refish it out, because you forgot what temperature you need to reheat the oven to- The mousetrap board game. Honestly never seen it function as it's supposed to outside of the commercials, I'm still upset about that. My theory is, that the game is designed to be played in vacuum to eliminate air resistance. You guys aren't playing scientifically enough. Your lungs need to be outside of your body to properly work with how the game's designed. It makes so much more sense. BRB gonna open Gramps old vacuum chamber. I think I've only actually played the game properly once. It is actually total sh. The only fun is running the machine. If you play it properly, you trudge round the board pointlessly, occasionally adding a piece to the machine then you get to the end and it's a tiny boring circle with add a piece spaces and a single trap space and you just go round and round until the machine is complete. And then someone has the insane luck, to land on the turn the crank space, while someone else is on the trap space. No, 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 that game is just meant to be put together, and turn the crank, no one actually does it the other way. F fine printers, how are they still so sh? Rant from 4 years ago, yup, nothing's changed. Tear here and self checkouts. Swallowing your own saliva, nothing makes your existence seem pointless than almost choking to death on your own spit. CSS, important. Stuff from the dollar store, that always works for me just only for like a week. The brain's plans to take over the world. Plugging in the USB correctly the first time. It's always the third time. McDonald's Fine Ice Cream Machine. According to this article, it's not because it's broken. Turns out, the soft serve machines must go through a laborious cleaning cycle that can last hours. The process isn't simply wiping down the machine, but involves an 11 step process that includes using a sanitizer slash warm water mix to clean 7 removable parts. There are also 2 irremovable parts that must be scrubbed for at least 60 seconds before the entire outside of the machine is wiped down with a sanitized towel. During this labor intensive process, the machines are unable to serve up any frosty goodness, and if the crew is busy serving customers, cooking food, or cleaning other parts of the restaurant, the machine sits unassembled and inoperable. Also, if they just cleaned and reassembled the machine, some employees claim there's a good chance they'll tell customers it's down, just to avoid going through the process again. Can you really blame them? 
The soft serve machines also go through a 4 hour heat cleaning cycle every night, to get rid of any bacteria lingering on the inside and some employees may start that process early to get a head start on closing up, if that's the case, you're out of luck, not to mention, many McDonald's are now open 24 hours, meaning there's really no time to clean the machine without disappointing a few ice cream loving customers, it takes 4 hours just to clean one of those machines every night, this requires more maintenance than an actual car. Setting up a Hot Wheels toy for my sons, they look so great in the picture on the box, but they are total crap. My penis, Ed is nothing to be ashamed about, his penis actually shoots lasers, when he tries to pee, sometimes pee happens though. Wedding processionals, the wedding party practices the processional repeatedly with the minister and organist to time it, and make it go smoothly, but on the actual day of the wedding, the procession never goes as rehearsed, sometimes the bride hesitates at the back of the church, perhaps nervous, long after everyone else in the procession, has gone before her, and the organist runs out of music, maybe those women just didn't want to marry you. The effing wiffy. The perforated side of a craft in a box. My life. Universal standards, whether you're talking about gender or USB ports, the one purpose of a standard is to cover all use cases, no standard ever does or has, and trying to enforce any standard always returns exceptions. I had a professor who worked in software engineering, specifically around requirements testing. I remember the day he discovered that Wi-Fi equipment does not conform to Wi-Fi standards. He was so deflated, he had just assumed that they wrote up a specification, made sure to follow the specification precisely, did a lot of automated testing, and formal methods to make sure no deviation from the specification, etc. The reality is they come up with the specification, then build something that gets pretty close, then all the manufacturers get together and have a bake-off where they try to get their respective devices to communicate with each other fiddle with stuff until it's bug for bug compatible and call it a day relevant xkcd marriage to be honest you watch tv and movies and get this idealistic image of what a marriage is then when it's your turn you see how much hard work is involved in being a truly happy marriage i don't know I don't think my husband and I are respectively a sexist moron and a condescending harpy like the sitcom couples.